Listen up, people. This guide is simply going to assume that you are already getting your crap pushed in every which way to Sunday, and thus you are in need of healing options. So, chances are this won't actually serve most experienced players out there. However, there may be some things that surprise even you. But, let's get to it. And right off the bat, I'll need you to get and think highly of blue mushrooms. They sprout come nights, however, they can still be found in the ground otherwise, within marshes, the deciduous forest, and even their own blue mushroom biome in the caves. However, I must tell you to refrain from digging them up, as you kinda just ruin their spawn point. But blue mushies can be tremendous healers for us, as when not cooked, Blue mushrooms restore 20 health a pop, and fill our bellies along the way too. That being said, the minus 15 sanity penalty may hurt, however for such an ease of access, it is worth it. Oh, and maybe one should look into mushroom planters as soon as possible, as they turn a single mushroom of any kind into 4 total for a net of 3 overall. And mushroom planting can be done year round in the caves to boot. Marvelous. But what about the meat eaters out there? Well, jerky is always an option there, and big meat here will dry into jerky, which will restore 20 health, 25 hunger, and 15 cent of each, which is pretty darn good stuff. But on the other hand, morsels, drumsticks, and or frog legs will dry into small jerky, which will grant 8 health, 12.5 hunger, and 10 sanity. All jerky lasts very long, especially in ice boxes, and they are easy to amass with great benefits overall. So get them drying racks and get to murdering. A more practical and accessible healing option for those in need could be spider glands. Spooters have a 25% chance of dropping them, and glands themselves will never spoil and will heal for 8 health each. However, they really should be leading you to bigger and better things. Like healing selves. Only locked behind a science machine and not an alchemy engine, we can toss together some rock and ash for an item that will also never spoil, but this time around restores 20 health a lather up. The best part, every character can use them as they are not foodies. Oh, and if you want quick ash, grab a pile of resources that you ain't using anymore, toss it on the ground, light them ablaze with a torch, and soon you'll have a pile of ash for your troubles. Easy peasy. Keeping in a similar vein here, murdering beautiful butterflies is not just a daily occupation of mine. It can lead to some minor yet decent healing for all as butterfly wings restore 8 health each. However, a butterfly may even have a chance to drop butter, which in turn heals for 40 a pop and leads to some pretty darn good recipes. Not bad at all and super accessible. Plus, one can even make an automatic butterfly wings farm by planting a single flower near one of Dragonfly's magma pools. The only problem is you will have to kind of deal with the finicky flames on occasion, but otherwise, it is one of the most efficient farms in the game, as the wings will not burn up. Amazing stuff. Mosquitoes are an option too, I guess, as they drop mosquito sacks 50% of the time. However, this will not only require you to venture into the big bat swamp in general, you're gonna have to do it at dusk, and I really don't think 8 health is worth that, even for newer players. But the option is there. Speaking of bugs, what about bees? Absolutely. In fact, I believe everyone should make a net, capture bees, and thus create bee box areas as soon as possible. As not only is honey amazing overall, it leads to one of the best healers across all of Don't Starve. Honey Paltice, it will never spoil, is incredibly easy to make, and will restore 30 health a pop. And every character can use them. Seriously, it is one of the best, most accessible healers in the entire game. You just have to plan for it is all. And by the by, papyrus comes through refining cut reeds, so be careful in them swamps and be rewarded greatly. But are you tired of all the murder and still are looking worse for wear? Well, a fur roll will restore one health a second at the cost of one hunger per second. However, even this basic item requires bunny man puffs, so perhaps you should actually just think bigger right off the bat. 
can't restore two health per second at the same hunger cost, and will actually help stabilize our temperatures along the way. That being said though, tents can only be used come dusk or night as well, so perhaps one should give thought to a siesta lean-to too. Not only is the hunger drain 0.33 per second this time, one can even take a snooze during the day. Great stuff. Farming here is a gateway to many things in this game. However, there are three crops I'd like to highlight here. Eggplant, pomegranate, and potatoes. When cooked, all three restore 20 health each much, along with their respective hunger slash sanity gains. And considering just how simple it could be to spam farm them, these simple crops can be literal life-saving snacks. And remember now, grow a crop you need, Feed it to a caged bird, then plant the specific crop seeds you'll receive from said bird, and eventually you'll have something like this and you'll just enjoy full farm plots of whatever you need. Farms are useful, let no one tell you otherwise. But hold up, what about crockpot dishes, Beard? Aren't there like crap tons of fantastic and delicious healing recipes out there? Oh, you betcha. However, we've kind of already covered them. So if we did so now, we'd be here all frickin' day. So go learn up on them elsewhere for now. A few honorable mentions here, including a crockpot recipe actually, cactus flour, and flour salad. Both will require you to be able to make it to summer. However, if you can, one can pick cactus in either of the deserts to enjoy 8 health, 12.5 hunger, and 5 sanity from their flowers alone. But why waste them? Simply toss four of them together, or just add some cactus flesh to, again, not waste them, and whip up flower salad, a food item that will restore 40 health overall. A perfect summertime snack. Good stuff. But here's something definitely not only accessible in summer. Hunts. Killing a koalaphant as early and as often as possible is phenomenal for meat, as they drop eight big meat each. However, it's their trunk that we're actually after this time. Koalaphant trunks, even when raw, restore 30 health and nearly 40 hunger, which is phenomenal stuff. But cook them to up those stats to 40 health and 75 hunger. So you see, murder is always the answer. But actually, sometimes murder is hard. However, if you can do it, more power to ya. Killing Bee Queen means royal jelly, and royal jelly means jelly beans, a food item that heals us over time for over two minutes, equating to 122 health gained overall. It is truly unique, and one of the most essential healing methods around. They're just not the most accessible things in the world, of course. But finally, healing your maximum health. How do you you actually get it back? Easy, booster shots under the survival tab. So make them, shoot up, and boom, 25% of your maximum health is restored instantly. So the more you know. You may need more than one on occasion though. And there you have it everyone. How to go from feeling like crap to feeling like new. Are there other methods? Oh, sure there are. So play your way, as they say. These were just the basic rules of thumb that all players should know. So, best of luck out there, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.